Right, my name is Matt Tri-State RV. This is your bullet by Keystone. Uh, this is your front main jack. Go up and down with it. It's acting stem. You got the light with it. Here you have the 220 pound propane tank. They're filled for you, ready to go. Uh, the upside line here. So when it's pouring towards the tank, it means it's on that tank. So when that turns red, it means it's empty. You just turn it this way and you just open that one. When you have it up and down like that, it's going to draw up both of them. Just keep it on one. Then behind that, your battery and battery box. New battery. You shouldn't have to worry about that for about 10 years. Then over here, you have a little port for a solar in case you want to get one. It does come in handy. Right here, you have your side compartment. <laughs> it literally goes all the way through. It is magnetic. That way, don't hit you in the head when you put it up there. Over here, you got your fresh water tank. That's where you uh, fill your fresh water tank up at. This is your city water connection. Uh, the campsite has water hook up. Hook it up there, turn it on, you're good to go. You got water in your system already. On that, I do recommend a regulator. That way, some campsites have pressure water and ain't gonna brush your valve by or blow your lines. Um, down here, you have four stabilizer jacks. Two in the front, two in the back. They're just for stabilizing, not for leveling. So when you get to campsite, level it out, then put them down that way. When the wind comes, they ain't gonna have to shift the back and forth. All right, this here is your cord. It comes with the camper. It is a 30 amp. Uh, we do sell adapters if need be. 30 to 110, 30 to 50 that way. If you wanna go and plug it up, you could. Or if campsite don't have 30, they have 50 hookups, you'll have everything you need. Underneath it is your outside shower. You have the cold and hot, kind of like the shower inside. But over here, you have the black tank plus. And what that is, put a hose up to it, just like your uh, city water hookup. Turn it on. You want to come down here, open your black tank valve. What's your color code? It tells you which one. Open your black tank valve, let it all wash out that way it don't stick up anything. On the left of that is your gray tank. That's going to be your shower, sink and shower. And up here is your uh, satellite cable hookup. You stick them up good to go right in the back here you are prepped for a backup camera we do sell them the cool thing about ours is of course activated so if you're on the truck packing up left to right your watch back here or wherever it's telling you left to right you can hear it on the truck also it serves as a security camera you can take it from your truck into the camper so that way if someone's messing with you you can see who it is uh, you got the spare tire you have your outside spray port all ready to go it's a quick connect so you just put it in there good to go then when you get your shear hose and you're done with it, pop that off, slide it in there for storage. All right, right here, you got your outside kitchen. You got your outside refrigerator. Make sure when you travel, hook it. That way you don't bounce around. But when you hook up, it's uh, shore power, so I'll make it and turn on. Nice and cold, ready to go for you though. And over here, you have your outside grill. Um, it is manually light. You split up the light, push down. Light it with a lighter. But before you do that, you want to come under here. You want to take this hose and put it in this gas supply right here. It's just a quick connecting in. Put it in there, make sure it's on. And then light it, you're good to go. Um, you get it in, you just want to fold them. Bring it down, push in, lock it, and make sure your hose is in. And that's the way you want to travel. Then up here, you got a little compartment. Right next to that, you have an outlet. Now all your outlets uh, run off a of GFI. The main GFI is on the side. When we go inside, I'll show you that. Here, you got your uh, vent for your refrigerator. It is gas and electric. Yet again, when we go inside, I'll show you that. Then here, you got your cable inside the hookup again. Down beneath that is your furnace vent. Now on this, I do recommend getting some uh, bus screens or mess screens, something like that to put over that. If not, dirt dogs get in there and make a mess, mess everything up. So this is your water heater. Uh, yet again, you want to get bus screens, keep all the dirt dark and stuff out of there. Then here, it is electric and gas. There are switches inside. When we go inside, I'll show you. When we go to winterize it, we drain it. You want to go behind it. It's a bypass. There's two valves. Turn the opposite way. You want to come out here, open this up, get all the pressure out of it. Take that little knob out of there and let it drain. Now, when I say you want to get um, bus screens, this is what you want to prevent. That's a um, a wasp nest. Now, if you have them bus screens, you can prevent that. You're getting stung. 
you had to get in the uh, dirt divers and make a mess and mess all the electric stuff up. So this is your awning. Where I have it right now, it's perfect. <clears throat> when you roll it out and see the flap coming out, you can get even on the end of it. <clears throat> it's when you want to stop. If you keep on going and roll back, roll back up backwards, uh, usually you can press the retract and get it back out. Simple as that. Uh, retracting it, once it hits the wall, it's all back on stop for you. On um, both sides, if you ever run out when it's raining and rain starts to get built up on it, <clears throat> you just want to pull down and release that rain. And that's on both sides. And then underneath, you get the lights, which are the smiths inside, I'll show you. And then you got the outside speakers, you got two of them. So in here, you got your compartment, yet again, it goes all the way through. Up here, you got your light, it's just a push button. Off and on. And on the right of that is your uh, docking light in front. If you want to go in front, and I'll show you, I'll turn it off and on. And that's pretty much for show. I mean, all right, on your steps, it's pretty simple. They pretty much fold right on up. You do a one, and then two. And they sit there when you ride. All right, this is your handle. Almost, you want to push up. You go right or left, either one. Most people will go right above the door. That way, the door does come open, and it kind of stop it. So here you got your control board. You got all your indicators. You literally just push them to your folio. You got empty to full for your tanks, and low to charged on your battery. So your battery's fully charged, uh, fresh water's empty. Uh, this is your gas water your switch. If it don't light, that's gonna come on red light, like it faults, tells you it didn't light. This is your electric switch. This is your water pump. This is your awning switch, retract and extend. This is your slide switch. This is the uh, <clears throat> awning lights. This is your main lights inside. Yeah, we're inside. This is your thermostat. It's all touched. So right now it's on AC. You want to keep on auto. Auto is going to keep that compressor on. But cools AC, heats your furnace. Um, it's only gas, so make sure it's propane in your tanks. And then you have the off. Um, going to your AC. Here, when you first turn it on, you want to have it on the like that. that way. It, it goes through the white, it goes through the dunkings through the white vents. That way it cools out the whole camper. Right on your AC filter, you just want to take it out, bring it out, put it through the water, put it back in, it is washable. Right, let's just over microwave. Traveling, make sure this is down secure. If not, it will shatter. Put it pose up just like that. To light your stove, turn it to the flame, the shoot nighter. It's literally one click. On your oven, it's kind of like home water here. Turn it to the flame. You want to push in, light it with your igniter. When it lights, hold for 10 seconds and set your temp and you're good to go. Uh, the light, you have the lights here and you have the light inside. And then up here, you got your vent fan, your vent light, and then you got your microwave. So on your water heater, we talked about winter rising in the bypass. The bypass is literally up behind this family. You just take the screws, two screws out, and it's between the two valves. Like I said, turn them the opposite way, lay all the pressure out of it, take the rod out, and you're good to go. All right, this is your refrigerator. It is electric and gas. When you have it on auto, so once you unplug for shore power, on auto, that's gonna go straight to gas. Uh, if you're plugged up, if you don't want just straight gas, push it, that's gonna go to gas completely. Um, if you don't want it on at, at all, let's go ahead and shut it off. Right here, you got your little closet. You got your little pole for whatever you want to do with it. And then down here, you got your breaker box, fuse box. Now, if a breaker blow or a fuse blows, you're going to see a red light that way it indicates you. Down below, you your LP carbon dioxide sensor. If you have a gas leak, that's going to go off. It's kind of like a smoke detector for gas. Right on your kitchen dinette, these will only pop out. You want to take this table. You want to put the table and the lips around here. You can put the poles in the lower storage here. But once you do, put this on the lips. This cushion, these two cushions go right in the middle like a bed. 
Um, on that, when you go in and out with your slide, just make sure there's nothing in the way, nothing on the floor, especially rocks. You have a rock on the floor, what you can do is sketch that rock, scrape the floor up. Um, going in and out, it's all back on stop. So once you push it out, it stops, you're good to go. So on your bump beds, under it, you can either access it from here. You wanna just pull up on this, the storage. Or you come down here and push that out and have it down here if you wanted to. Right in here, you got your bathroom. You got your light switch here. Down beneath that is your main GFI I was talking about last time. Uh, all your lights aren't working. See if that's tripped. If that's not tripped, trick your breaker box. See if that's uh, tripped or breaker. Now, if your breaker ain't tripped, that ain't working. It means your GFI's fried. You need a new one. Up here, you got a little bit of storage. You got your uh, sink. All right, this is your toilet. It's got a kickstand toilet. You just push this down to flush it. So then up here, you got your vent. It's just a twist out. Twist it open, and there's electric. You got the switch here, turn it off. And just twist down, close it. Then here you got your bath and shower. It's pretty simple, you got your shower head. Little faucet there. So here you got your TV entertainment center. You got your TV. It is latched right now. Um, it is a swivel, so it does come out, turn left and right. Just when you may, when you travel, make sure to latch it. Um, on your TV, it is already hooked up to an antenna booster, and it's already stationed on top of your roof. So when you go to campsite, to campsite, do an idle scan, that way it picks up the local channels and more channels. Um, you have a trailer with it. Underneath that, it's your radio. It is a CD, CD player and a DVD player. Um, it's Bluetooth, outscored, HDMI, and USB, so you can pretty much plug anything up to it. You can also plug an HDMI cord for your radio to your TV and then plug your phone up to it, like a way you can watch the phone to the TV. Um, on your radio, you have two speakers outside, two speakers inside. Um, so zone one is inside and zone two is outside. You literally just push them and turn them up and on. So this back here was literally right here. This is all your paperwork for appliances, all the manuals, stuff like that for your stove, oven, microwave, refrigerator, stuff like that. So if anything goes wrong, you just look in here, get the paperwork, look it up, and you're good to go. Right in your bedroom, you got your exit window. You just gonna pull the tab out, get the screen out, pull this up towards you, and then push out to get the window out so you can run, run out. Um, down here is where your water pump is. If you ever need to get to it to winterize it, that's where it needs to be. Um, you got the storage on both sides. And up top. And then you got storage underneath your bed. 